Hello everybody. After studying vectors, addition of vectors and resolution of vectors, now we are eligible to learn projectile motion. What is a projectile? Okay. If a body is thrown into air, after that, if the body moves only under the influence of gravity, then we can call that object as a projectile. So look at the, I'll read out the definition once. A body thrown with some initial velocity with horizontal direction. If it moves only under the influence of gravity, to that okay then we can call it as a projectile okay. we'll try to understand projectile using some examples first example a bullet a bullet fired from a rifle so for example <coughs> there is a rifle a bullet is fired from the rifle so the, that bullet it goes like this. It moves in the form of a parabola. Trajectory is in the form of a parabola. We think that bullet goes straight, but it is not like that. Since the velocity is high, it travels larger distance. But as a whole, its trajectory is like a parabola. Or one more easy example, a stone. If there is, a, if you consider a stone, which is thrown in any direction, a stone thrown in any direction in any direction becomes an example for projectile so for example here there is a stone here here there is a person okay here there is a person he throws a stone in this direction he throws a stone in this direction but the stone moves like this eventually correct now once uh, the person throws the stone after that it moves only under the influence of gravity then we can call it as a projectile okay now I'll give you one more example. Say for example, you have to tell me whether it is correct or not. Okay. Here there is a uh, there is an aeroplane here. There is an aeroplane here. This aeroplane uh, goes from uh, one uh, <coughs> one place to another place. Okay. This uh, aeroplane goes from one place to another place, one airport to another airport, like this. Say for example. Now, whether it is a projectile, it is not a projectile. Why? Because, say for example, when the uh, when the uh, aeroplane reaches here at the maximum point, if the driver, if the pilot, if the pilot comes to know that there is some danger here, he can change the you know destination. Correct, now? The aeroplane is also controlled by engine. Okay, using engine, using power of engine, you can change the direction. Then it is not a projectile motion. Whereas in the case of a ball thrown into space, thrown into free air, okay, or uh, when a batsman hits the ball, okay, you might have seen, uh, you know, trajectories of the ball in IPL, okay, all those are parabolic, means the moment you hit the ball, based on the speed, based on the initial speed, and based on the initial uh, angle of projection, its destination is fixed, okay, so therefore such objects we can call it as projectile, say for example, there is a frog, Okay, say so there is a frog, okay, there is a frog, say so frog jumps, say so frog reaches the highest position, then the frog observes that, okay, there is some uh, flame here, some fire is there here, okay, frog jumps, but when the frog reaches the highest point, it sees that here there is a fi fire near the destination, then frog cannot do anything, the moment you give the initial velocity, the direction and the angle, okay, you, the moment you give the speed and angle to a body, its destination is fixed. Such objects we call it as projectiles, okay. Now, uh, what we do is, you might have seen, usually projectiles, they look like this, correct? Now, path of a projectile, they look like a parabola, parabola. Just now I gave an example, when you watch, uh, you know, uh, cricket during replays and all, they show the trajectories of the ball. When someone hits a six, they show the trajectories. If you see, those trajectories are parabolas. Okay. But now here, what we will do, we will mathematically prove that trajectory of a projectile is a parabola. We are going to prove mathematically that, show that, show that trajectory, trajectory of a projectile, of a projectile is a parabola, show that trajectory of a projectile is a parabola. 
Okay. Now we have to write an equation for trajectory. Before that, before that, we will try to understand how to resolve initial velocity vector. Okay. In projectile motion, say for example, a body is thrown with some initial velocity u, and this body moves like this. Now we have studied resolution of vector, correct now? A vector can be resolved along x-axis and it can be resolved along y-axis. That we have studied. Angle that the initial velocity vector, angle that the initial velocity vector makes with the horizontal is called angle of projection. Which is what is this? Angle of projection. Angle of projection. This is angle of projection. Okay. So this u is initial velocity. Initial velocity okay now here this is horizontal component this horizontal component can be directly written as u cos theta because how if you define cos theta here there is a right angle triangle in this right angle triangle if you define a cos if you define cos theta cos theta equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse correct now adjacent side divided by hypotenuse length of the hypotenuse is u so therefore this adjacent side adjacent side is equal to u cos theta correct now adjacent side becomes equal to u cos theta similarly this opposite side will become equal to u sin theta therefore this this is u sin theta so this is how we are using the knowledge of resolution of vectors here okay hope you can understand angle any angle made by the initial velocity vector with the horizontal we call it as angle of projection this is initial velocity for a given projectile initial velocity and angle of projection are constants okay now show that trajectory of a projectile is a parabola we will we'll do this derivation okay so what we have done we consider a projectile say so projectile is thrown with some initial velocity u say this is the trajectory okay this is the trajectory so this is the angle of projection this is initial velocity okay so this this becomes u cos theta correct now u cos theta just now i have explained this is u cos theta vertical component is u sin theta vertical component is u sin theta okay this is u sin theta this is uh, y axis this is x axis this is the ma maximum position this is the maximum position here in projectile motion only force which is acting is gravity correct now because there is so therefore there is the acceleration is downwards always acceleration is downwards the, the acceleration we take it as minus g okay now here we write an we write an equation for x component of displacement okay x component of displacement is given by x component of displacement is given by x component of displacement is given by x component of x is equal to ut plus half a t square correct now x is equal to ut plus half a t square but here see the object is not going only along x axis or only along y axis this is motion in two dimension okay there are two, two components of displacement one is x component and other is y component how to write the equation I'll just explain here once. The equation which we should use is x is equal to ut plus half a t square. x component of displacement means x component of velocity into time plus half into x component of acceleration into t square. This is x component of displacement. How to write equation for y component of displacement? y component of velocity into time plus half into y component of acceleration into t square okay this we are going to use okay x component of displacement is given by x is equal to ux into t plus half into ax into t square now one important step okay now in the case of projectile okay in the case of projectile only force okay only force which is acting on the projectile is gravitational force which is downwards so therefore acceleration is downwards in this direction there is no force correct now there is no force in the so there is no force in the horizontal direction there is no force in the horizontal direction nobody is pushing 
pushing the projectile or pulling the projectile in the horizontal direction. Therefore, horizontal force is equal to zero. Therefore, horizontal acceleration is equal to is equal to zero. But there is a vertical force. That vertical force is how much? Vertical force is mg. Therefore, vertical acceleration, vertical acceleration is g. Okay. Therefore, therefore, in this equation, see ax horizontal force is not there. Therefore, ax is equal to zero. From the equation, f is equal to ma. Correct, na? If the horizontal force is zero, means what? m into ax is equal to 0. Mass cannot be 0, no? Okay, so therefore in this equation, what we can conclude? Horizontal component of acceleration is 0. So therefore, since there is no horizontal force, we can take this ax as 0. Okay, ax is equal to 0. Then this equation becomes x is equal to ux into t. What is ux? ux means horizontal component of velocity, correct? Now this is ux and this is ui, right? So ux means what? u cos theta, u cos theta into t or, or I'll write an equation for t here. t is equal to x divided by u cos theta. t is equal to x divided by u cos theta. Okay. Now I, I found the value of t. Now to draw the equation, to, to derive the equation of trajectory, I should relate x, y and time. Okay. If I, if I get the values of x and y at all times, okay, then I get the equation of trajectory. So next what I will do, I will write y component of displacement, concentrate, y component of displacement is given by, y component of displacement is given by, y component of displacement is given by, y is equal to uy into t plus half a y into t square. Okay, what is a y? a y is minus g. What is u y? y is equal to, what is u y? u y means vertical component of velocity, that is u sin theta, u sin theta, okay, into t minus half g t square, because vertical component of acceleration is equal to minus g, okay. Now, we will uh, uh, simplify this. We will substitute the equation for t, okay. So here I have got an equation for t, t is equal to x divided by u cos theta. I will substitute here, okay, what happens? Here, y is equal to u sin theta, u sin theta into t, t means what? x divided by u cos theta, x divided by u cos theta minus half into g into t square, x by u cos theta whole square, what happens? x square divided by u square cos square theta. Okay. Now here what happens? You closely observe, closely observe, u and u gets cancelled, u and u gets cancelled, sin theta divided by cos theta is tan theta. So therefore x equal to tan theta, tan theta into x minus gx square divided by 2u square cos square theta, 2u square cos square theta. So this is the equation of, this is the equation of trajectory. This is called equation of trajectory. Now this equation is very similar to y is equal to ax minus bx square. y is equal to ax minus bx square is an equation of parabola. Okay. Now see, in the place of a, if you compare these two equations, in the place of a, you have got tan theta, right? In the place of B, you have got g x g divided by 2 u square cos square theta. Correct now? In the place of A, you have got tan theta. In the place of B, you have got g divided by 2 u square cos square theta. Correct now? Now, here in the equation of parabola, A and B are constants. Correct now? A and B are constants. A and B are constants in the equation of parabola. Now we'll check whether this is a constant theta. Theta means angle of projection. For a given projectile, angle of projection, the angle with which you throw the projectile is a constant. Theta is constant, therefore tan theta is constant. G, acceleration due to gravity, however, however constant. 2 is a constant. U is initial velocity, that is constant. Everything is constant. So therefore, this equation is in the form of y is equal to ax plus bx square. Therefore, therefore, <coughs> trajectory, you can conclude that trajectory trajectory 
of a projectile of a projectile is a parabola of a projectile projectile is a parabola is a parabola hope you are hope you are uh, making the notes okay first you have to write the diagram diagram okay some initial velocity is there resolve it horizontal component of velocity vertical component of velocity horizontal component will be always cos theta u cos theta u sin theta acceleration is minus g in the horizontal direction there is no force therefore horizontal component of acceleration is zero write the equation for x component of displacement x equal to ux into t plus half into ax into t square ax is equal to zero ux means horizontal component of velocity substitute u cos theta then you get a equation for t okay then you write an equation for y y is equal to u y into t plus half a y into t square substitute the value of acceleration then substitute for t when you substitute for t what happens x by u cos theta u u gets cancelled sin theta by cos theta will be tan theta you get some equation for trajectory then you see that this equation for trajectory is in the form of y is equal to ax minus vx square so this which is this is actually an equation equation for parabola our equation of trajectory looks like equation for parabola therefore we can conclude that trajectory of a projectile is a parabola okay hope you understood the derivation thank you very much